Alright, so this video is going to be a nightmare enough to edit, so I'm keeping the intro short. Music is very subjective. This is my opinion. You are probably not going to agree. And yes, we are doing every single song. And you know, if you like my channel and you want to help me from all the suffering of ranking every single song, subscribe and follow me on twitch.tv slash prochara. Alright, opening. Standard. I don't have strong opinions. I think it's a good opening, but it's nothing crazy. Eighth tier. Splat Attack Jam Session. I'm pretty sure this is the one they used on the final Splatoon 1 trailer, and I believe this is also in the tutorial. So I'm pretty sure this is just a slightly different remix of Splat Attack, which there's a lot of. Wait, does this not have any? No, I think it does have some inkling lyrics, but I think it's way less. I think there's more of a laid back one. Oh, I remember this now. This is the, I know why I remember this one so well. It's the Splatoon 1 Accolades trailer, like the last one they did, maybe not Accolades, but like, the last Splatoon 1 trailer, which was really good, used this remix. I think it could have built up to something a little bit more, but it wanted to be chill S tier, very chill. The most remixed song in Splatoon. It is very nostalgic. We gotta filter that out a little bit today, guys. We gotta filter it out a little bit. The Inkling lyrics aren't too much, so I like that. The bass beat is pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of this part, honestly, but then this part's really good. This part's really good. All right, I'm ready for the hot take. I think the original Splat Attack is mostly carried by Nostalgia, and it's a good song, but it's not that good. I think it's just fine. I think most of the remixes of it improve it dramatically. Oh, we'll get to the other Splat Attacks though, don't worry. We've already covered two of them. There's like three or four more, I think, so we'll hear it again, I'm sure. You can play this one on your guitar? Yo, nice. Oh, this one's really good. This is gonna be a higher one for sure. The pace of this is so nice. Yeah, the guitar is awesome. I really love the guitar. Good. I think it's S tier. Not, nothing super insane, but actually, I'm gonna put it up S plus. I think it's pretty good. It's a pretty good song. Yeah, we're gonna be here a while, guys. <laughs> Seascape. Oh, this one's good. This is gonna be better than Anchor Sync, I think. Unless if there's a part I don't remember, I think this is a little bit... This is like an S+, plus, but a little bit better than the previous one. See, I'm not as nostalgic, because I've just played Splatoon 1 a few days ago. And I've been playing it a good bit this year, so... The vocals are okay. Uh, I don't think the song has any major highs, but I don't think it has any as major lows. I think I would put it S+, plus. I think it's still really good. Solid beat. It, it's good. No, this one's just louder. I was like, did I adjust the volume? But no. Uh, this one's kind of mid. I don't know. This, maybe not super. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, but this song is the next part. This part's good, though. This part's solid, but I think everything else is kind of mid or lower. I'm gonna give it a C. Uh, small note, I don't know what I was on. It's definitely at least an S tier song, so uh, we'll fix that later. Metalopod. Dude, my chat's gonna be in flames with each other by the time this thing is over. I think this is another mad best one. Oh, but, th oh wait, no, this part's good though. Wait, this part's good though. This part's so good. This part's so good though. Okay, so I think the inkling lyrical parts are garbage, but I think everything else is legitimately really good, which makes this one a very hard one to rank. I think I'm gonna put it in B, but it's like, the good parts are like here, and the bad parts are like here. I think I'll put a B. I'm losing my mind and we aren't even at two yet. Do you think the inkling lyrics are- I mean, there are some that I don't mind, but I think those are too over the top to me. I'm personally not a fan of it. Yeah. 
Iconic, sure, but that doesn't mean... Well, I guess I could translate to being good. This part's good. Ooh, this is gonna be a divisive one. You guys are being nostalgic, though. We gotta be honest here. S plus C. B. I haven't seen everyone disagree. S, S plus. X. Chat, agree on a tier challenge. <laughs> Impossible difficulty. S. I think it starts off a little bit weak, but everything else is solid. No super high highs, but I think it's a solid song. All right, S, S tier, sure. How can you not like that? S tier. I gotta be honest, guys. I gotta be honest. I'm not crazy for this, right? This is such a good victory song. This has never gotten old. And you hear it every single time you win. I'll put it in S plus to be fair, but it's going up there. Uh, honestly, that's a bit over the top and I don't like it, B. Now that's the jingle and this is the result. They're different. This one's better though. Uh, I'll put that one in A, I think it's fine. Nothing exceptional, but it's- it's good. Friend list. Oh wait, this is a normal song! I thought this was gonna be the fucking adding friends dude. Oh my god, I forgot. Bro. Oh, this is a good song too. Why is it called friend list? Oh, it's shelfy, but it's just called this in another language, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I gotta be honest, shelfy's kind of a banger. It's the Japanese name? Ah. How, how, how did this song not come back? I love the 8-bit sounds, dude. I don't care. I love the little 8-bit sounds, or whatever you call them. We got our first X tier. Easy. I don't think anyone's gonna be arguing with this sanely. It's going up here. These songs are just so fast and upbeat. I miss that in 2, man. Like, the pace of these is just so good. Yeah, this this band is in both games for a reason. This is just way too good. Yep, put it up there. X tier song. Absolutely. You guys already know where this is going, but we'll hear it anyway. The piano is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Um, it's not ordered, but I mean, let's be honest. This is the best Splatoon song. I'm just going to say it. This is the best Splatoon song. If I were to make an X plus, it would be there. Let's be real. It's solid. I like it. It's good. We're coming off a bunch of bangers, so it's a bit hard to like this one as much, but it's still pretty good. Oh, but here it comes. Here it comes. Ah, we're picking it up a little bit here. Yeah, this is the Hammerhead Bridge song, bro. It starts out a little weak, though. Just by banger standards that we have started to reach here with these songs. So is it an, is it an S plus or an X tier chat? I need help on this one. S plus or X? All right, I'm seeing more S pluses, so we'll put it there. Is this just the making? Oh, okay. Uh, this is fine. It's a good background beat. Like, this is supposed to be a background beat, and I think it's a very good background beat. Uh, it, it's fine for what it is, but it's nothing special. Uh, beat tier. It's the opener. Ah, uh, the classic. It feels like I booted up Splatoon 1 for the first time all over again. That's a nostalgia song right there. I remember that from when you first boot up the game. I still remember it. That's an S+. Plus. That's really good. Oh, so this is the extension on the jam session. Uh, I mean, there's just 
part of the jam session. So I feel like there's not a lot to really say about it. It, it doesn't really have too much to it. I'll put it in B. Oh, this part. You can still hear this in Albacore Hotel, by the way. If you go on recon, just go to the right side by your spawn. You can hear that. This part, too. Okay, so I know I've been skimming through this, but I wanted to make a little point how there's a bunch of smaller background beats that do become playable over time. And I think that keeps what would normally be a more dull sound fresh. And so I'll give it A tier for that extra effort. Yeah, all the ambient sounds, that adds to it. This is a plaza theme. So I think that sounds good. Lobby. This is another nostalgia song. This is another heavy nostalgia song. This is a very iconic song. Also, I think this is one of the places where the Inkling lyrics feels the least, like, unnatural, even if you're not used to the Splatoon world. Uh, yeah, that's a great song. Very nostalgic. S tier. This is the, like, in the ranked lobby battle screen. This is the one you hear more, and I gotta be honest, this is way better than the Splatoon 2 lobby one. The Splatoon 2 one is kind of terrible, but we'll get to that later. This one's good. Very relaxing beat, which considering right after this, you're being thrown into a uh, faster one, then yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, but Ica Jamaica, I probably said that fucking horribly wrong, but we're gonna ignore that. Said it so wrong? Yeah, I knew I said it wrong. Did I have to edit out me just failing to find the fucking song half the time, dude? This is gonna be the majority of the editing process, as Char forgets to find the basic song. So the song is called Double Bath in a Different Language, so it's going in S+. Plus. That, that's why it's there. It's not a different one, but yeah, there there we go. Another one with the di slightly different name, depending on location. Looking fresh. Oh, these are the shops. Uh... I gotta be honest. I'm not a fan of this. When it picks up, it's okay. I'll do B tier for the chat. I don't think it's that good. Oh boy, the news theme. Everyone's favorite. Yeah, it does come with a little PTSD, but this news is faster. Why are you saying F, dude? You just saying F because you don't like the news. Nothing wrong with it. It's just okay. C tier. It's, it's here, we'll rank it. Uh, it Cool variation C tier, moving on. I'm not spending five years on that. Oh, high color evolution. This is the Squid Sisters introduction song. I believe. Isn't there a better mix of this song? It sounds somewhat familiar to me. I swear there's another mix of this, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the credits theme is just a better version of this. Is it not? Sea of Color? Okay. Um, good, but I don't think it's amazing, and I think there's a better version of it. I still think it's solid, but like Splat Attack, I think its remix is better. I will put it in A tier. I mean, uh, S tier, though. Still pretty good. S tier song. I like the little crowd in the background. That's kind of cool. Uh, B tier. Here we go. We're getting Splatfest songs. Here we go. I'm ready for the divisive opinions chat. I see all the different tiers now. All right, it's good. It's good. I'm jamming out. You guys can't see me, but I'm jamming out. The song's good. It's good. Uh, S plus. I don't think it's as good as these. Very very close. Second of many, now you're nevers. Welcome to now or never, but better. This one's better. I gotta be honest. Ugh, I see chat both agreeing and disagreeing. I would still put this one in S. I think it is better, but I do not think it is better enough to be an S plus. But I think it's, again, B. These small jingles are rarely gonna get above B, unless if they're real good. We're in the single player now, everyone. We've moved on from the multiplayer. 
There's a lot of small details on this song. More than you might think at first. Pay attention. I got the headphones on for this one. This is a subtle song done right. It fits super well in the atmosphere. S plus tier. It's not a super upbeat song, but it is perfectly good for what it's supposed to be. That's an S plus tier. It's been 40 minutes, actually. This is going to take a while. <laughs> so this picks up later. So this is it with maximum beats. So we got it here with a maximum. Yeah, solid A tier. A-legged advance. This one's fine so far. I do know it has a good part, but it's taken a while to get there. Look at that, we're already 40 seconds into the song. We're still not there. And then it barely picks up. B tier, it's fine. It does its thing, it's not great. Oh, here we go. Now we're picking up immediately. Ah, yes, the classic Do Not Pass the Splatoon Fan the Ox Chord song. AK, this one's gonna have a lot of divisive opinions. At least for my chat, people seem to like it. Oh, here we go. It's a hard one to rank. Yeah, I'd put it in S. I think some of the choices are a little bit odd, but the momentum and stuff of the song is really well, and it works very nice in a single-player setting. It's very much a staple of the music, and I think it's fine. This is probably the one I remember the most. We're off to a very weak start. We're off to a very weak and slow start. Can it pick up, though? Oh, 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 wait! Oh, it's getting better. It starts out pretty weak, but it also has a good part, and thus I will put it in B. The good part is pretty good, but the bad part is really bad. So I think it's fair to be in a B. You guys know what this plays for? This is the Ink Strike level. They need to bring those back, by the way. I love the Ink Strike levels. I don't think this one picks up, though. Ooh, this one I can hear out of each- it, it, like, alternates left, right in your headphones. That's cool. I love songs that do that. I think it's a good start. A lot better of a start than most of the others, but it doesn't really go anywhere. I think it's just kind of okay. I'll give it an A tier. I think this one's better than the others, but I don't think it's that much better. If it picked up, it could have been good, though. Ah, uh, the octoling level. Or the octoling sounds. You know what I mean. The music that plays when you fight octolings. <laughs> Ooh, a lot of people seem to like this one. Interesting. This part's really good. Now this is a song that picks up. It starts out okay, but it picks up really good. I will give it... I honestly still don't think this is an S tier one, though. I gotta be honest, guys. I think this is still an A. I don't think it's as good as the S tiers. A tier is still good. This is the same tier as Splat Attack. All right, now we have a good song. I gotta skip to where this one picks up, though. Yep. Now this one picks up. That guitar. That guitar is a carry, bro. Yeah, I think the vocals in that are good. I think that is an S tier. Very nice victory jingle. Very cool. Still very small. Uh, I'm putting in B. What an interesting loss theme. This one kind of stands out a bit more. I think this is an A. I think that stands out a lot more. Yeah, it has that Wild West vibes. Like you just got shot in like a in like a shootout or something. That's kind of what it feels like. I like it. And it's something you'll rarely hear for most players. So I think it's cool that it sounds a bit different. It really hits you with the wow. I really did just lose all of my lives. Yeah, like the standoff cowboy duel. That's what it feels like.
<laughs> this song is so relaxing. The sunken scroll theme. There's nothing really to it, but I think it's it's good enough to really carry it. I think that is an eighth tier. Maybe even an S. I'm gonna put an S. I think I could listen to that on loop for a long time. The good Octavio fight song. All right, as usual, we'll have to speed up a bit to where it really picks up. Actually, it might not pick up too much at all on this one, but yeah. This is a classic. I think this fits him being a DJ super well. Octavia is another one missing from this tier list format, so we'll add it at the end. This is an S plus tier song. Do I even need to say anything? I don't think I need to say anything. And I don't think there's anything to say here. I A3 heard it the whole time for the main boss fight of both games. And I, I think that will never change. So Calamari Incantation, AKA, I guess that's what it's called there, X tier song. It's another song where I don't really gotta say a lot. This is the song I'd play that feels like moving on from a Splatoon game. This feels like a completed journey. Perfectly. This is a regular listen. This one's not on the tier maker, so once again, we'll add it at the end, but you already know this is a next tier song. 2014 Splat Attack. I don't know, champ. No way some people think this is better. I will give it credit this part. That part's better, but the vocals make me visibly cringe. And so I'm putting it in D tier. It has a good part. Those vocals were in the entire song. I'm sorry. I cannot listen to it with those. At all. The solos! Now I gotta be honest with you guys, alright? Kali solo is easily the best. Uh, I, I give it a solid S. Alright, this is one of the opinions that I think is gonna get me flamed. I am not a big fan of this. Tide goes out, A tier. I'm putting it there right now. I think it's just okay. I think there are much better lo-fi beats. We just finished. Splatoon 1. With that being said, it's time to transition to Splatoon 2. Nothing crazy. B tier for the opening. The reveal! This has Splatoon in the lyrics. That's gotta be worth some points. And this part's good. How do you guys not like this song? This song's good! It takes too long? That's valid. The splashdown. This is a good opening song. People were hyped for this. I don't know how you guys are denying it. This is a good song. S tier. Rip entry.
All right, here we go. We're starting to move down a bit. I don't think this one's that good. See, this is the part I'd expect to pick up, but it kind of doesn't. Yeah, the vocals are the main focus, and the vocals are hard mid. It's just a B-tier song. I don't think it's anything special. Yeah, it's like an intro to a song without the song. That's a good comparison. All right. Yeah, they use the squid voice filter stuff a lot more than in one, and I'm not a fan of it. I think there is too much of Inkling lyrics. Like, you can definitely tell the Inkling lyrics have much more of a focus in this game. And I'm personally just not a fan of it, which will probably contribute a lot to my ratings. Yeah, this one also just has more beat to it. Definitely better than the last one, but it still doesn't really work for me. I think this was in the middle of the previous two. I will give it an A. It's better than the last one, but not as good as the first one. Yeah, there's a later part. I have to hear that before we rank it. The name? Yeah, it's a good name. Dun, dun. Now this part is good! Now this part is actually good! I don't, I don't think I can put this in an S. I think I'd still put this in an A. I think it's fine. I don't think it's as good. I know there are better ones. This is a more well-known one. I'm liking this one more. I think that's an S. I don't think it picks up enough for me to put it higher than that, but definitely a step up from the previous ones. Sure. Now or never. Yeah, I mean, I think it's not bad, but I do think this is weaker than the two Splatoon 1 ones for now or never. So I think I'll put it in B. It's not bad, but it definitely loses a bit of it. Pretty much just a watered down version of the Splatoon 1 victory jingle. So B. Still not really as good, but I think this is what? B or an A? This one's probably an A. I think this is an A tier. This one still feels very depressing when you lose. So, I mean, I think it's still a pretty good loss theme. I'll put that in A. I think the loss theme is fine. I don't know if I'd say S. It's fine. I think it's uh, A tier. Cool. I know there's a lot of mixed opinions here. Ooh, a lot of hate for this one. Yeah, I'm not really feeling anything. I'm not feeling bad, but I'm not feeling anything positive either. This is just kind of there. Yeah, I'm gonna be real, I think it's a C tier. I like this one. Still not making me feel a lot, but it's definitely better. They're like sailor shanties. That makes sense. It's not personally not really my thing. Uh, yeah, another one where I don't really feel too much, but I think it is better. B tier. Ah, uh, this is the clam blitz theme. This is clam blitz. This is the opening beat, and it's already better than the previous two songs. Already better. Dude, I, I picture the fucking trailer so much here. Good song. Seafoam Shanty. S tier.
I'll move it up. That's a good one. Broken Coral. Oh, this song. Oh, there's a lot of mixed opinions on this song. Ooh, all right. The trumpet's good. All right, a lot of mixed opinions on it. And I remember not liking this song for a while, but now I think it's fine. I'd give it an A. I think it's okay. Yeah, this is a Cuphead type beat. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm not sure I'm as big a fan of this one, though. I'm not sure. I don't know, maybe I am, maybe I am. I love the background beat. Do the little electric guitar in the background, I like it. Controversial time, I think that's an S. I actually like that a lot more than I thought I did. Incoming cloud demo, so this is tutorial. Tutorial slash training room. Solid background song. I think a lot of us are sick of it and thus are going to be rating it lower, but I think it's a B, very solid background song. Cool. So, the Splatoon 1 one, I said it made me feel like booting up Splatoon 1 for the first time. This song does not do the same for me. I have no emotional attachment to this whatsoever, and I think it's kind of boring. And it has nowhere near the same amount of character. And I'm putting it in D. Great, and I feel nothing for what should be a nostalgic song. Now this song gives me more nostalgia. Now we're hitting some nostalgia. Still a tutorial beat, not anything major, but I like it. We'll put it in A. So yeah, this is kind of really bad. I don't feel anything to this. I'll put it in C. Without a dop doubt. Splatoon 1 lobby music is just such an upgrade that, uh, yep, at C. The Shoal! A song a lot of us might not remember. But I've heard this a lot from Lands. Yes, this is The Shoal. This is for LAN events. So some of you might have never heard of this, but I have attended many Splatoon LANs, so I have. There's a bit of nostalgia because it makes me think of LANs whenever I hear it, but outside of that, uh, yeah, not really that special. B tier. I don't even need to listen to this. This lobby music sucks. I hate it. It's completely bland. I don't care if you can mess with it at all. It's so unbelievably boring. It's going in F. I hate it. Legitimately hate it. This gets old after the first day. This one picks up more. And I like how the shops have more distinct themes compared to Splatoon 1. Like you can tell what shop you're in just from the music. So I do like that. I don't think it's exceptional, but I do think it's a step up from Splatoon 1 and I'm gonna put it in A tier. Uh, I've heard this one a lot. I think it's actually pretty good. A tier. The salmon opening. I wish it was a little more unsettling. I think it's okay. I don't really have any major feelings toward a B tier. Salmon tutorial. Yeah, the salmon music is very weird, so it's a lot more love or hate than most of them. But I have, for whatever reason, am neutral to them, so. Yeah, this is just a very laid back song. But it does pick up. Uh, I'll put it B. It's probably the most known salmon run song. They used it a little bit in Splatoon 3. Don't really feel anything major towards it, but I like it. I think we'll do a tier. Fishing Frenzy. Cool name. The music definitely feels more unsettling here, which I like. 
We're getting that weird 7-4 Salmon Run vibe in this one. Like, the music does not sound normal. But I, I think that's a cool touch. People will bitch about it, but I think it's all right here. It's good. I like this one. This one gives me much more of a feeling than most of the previous ones. I will put it in S. Good song. That sounds like you completed a shift. Cool success jingle. Eighth tier. C tier. Here's the victory music theme. Solid A. I'll be honest, this feels the exact same as the Splatoon 2 one. I feel no difference toward either of them. That's a better Splatfest theme announcement. I will put that a bit higher. Yeah, it's A tier. Now this is a lobby music sound. Here we go, off the hook. Now I'm feeling nostalgic. This is the song that's getting that feeling for me. Splatfest in 2017, dude. It hit different. These two blend together so well. It's a good one. S+. Plus. We're getting this Splatoon 2 song up the board. Small beat, not gonna spend a lot of time on them. People don't really care that much if the Splatfest opening is an A or B tier. It's an A tier, moving on. Here we go. It's time for Splatoon 2 to start putting its songs on the board. I love the background beat. It's not even the main lyrics. I just love the background beat. I don't know why, it's so good. I know it's just a background, but I like it. Yeah, the lyrics don't do it for me as much, but like, meh. This is another one we'll have to add at the end because it's not in the tier maker itself. It'll be an S+. Yeah, this one is another really nice bop. Yeah, I don't know what to say with this. It's good. It doesn't really go anywhere as much, but I think it's just really good as is. Uh, solid S tier. Very cool. Here we go. This is the best Splatfest song. Let's be honest. This is the best one. And then it just gets better. It just gets better. I think it's S plus. Drag it up there. Now or never, if it will ever start. It's looking like never more than now. YouTube, bro. YouTube. What's going on? Yeah, it's pretty mid. Uh, gotta be honest. Probably the worst one. I put it in C. I'm not a fan. I like the Splatfest victory jingle. I don't care too much for it. B. Good victory theme, though. Not gonna spend a lot of time on it. Really good victory theme. I'll put it in S. I actually really like this one. Let's hit a feat. The defeat goes hard. That's an A. Nice and depressing, let's go! Final results jangle is pretty cool. Nothing really exceptional. Uh, B. Could be better, B. All right, guys, I'm gonna be honest. This is just worse Captain Cuttlefish's theme. And it's not bad. But this is 
nowhere near the same highs. Yeah, the Japanese aspect is really cool, but that's it. Uh, B. This song really picks up! This is not boring. This is a banger. It starts out so slow and picks up so far. That's insane how well it picks up without losing anything. Really amazing. Like, that is underrated as hell. How hard that picks up without losing anything. Absolutely an S tier. Some of the Octo songs is Callie in the background? Ooh, interesting. Yeah, I, oh, I can hear it right there. There you go. I have to skip to this part. And this is one that kind of alternates in your ears with headphones. Very nice. It's a very laid back song, but I think it is a laid back song done quite well, and I like it. S tier. Oh, yeah, this one goes hard. I'll skip to the pickup again. Good song. Very cool. I like it a lot. I like it a lot, a lot. Yeah, the Octarian looks so fucking out of place here, dude. He's just like, bro, someone fucking help me, bro, please. Chill, don't feel as much for it as normal, uh, A tier. Honestly, pretty good soundtrack. We gotta hear the drop. Hold up. Yup. If you play the song backwards, it'll be the full mix of Cali singing? Dude, that might bump it up a tier. We are going up to the S plus tier for this one. Good song. Yeah, this is the same as Splatoon 1, I'm pretty sure. Because I'm pretty sure it's literally the exact same. So there we go. We can go right next to it. This is another one that's like the same, right? Where's the original Cephal Parade? Yeah, all these are basically the same. So I'm not really going to spend a lot of time on them. They're slightly different, but there's not enough to where it would change an entire tier. So we're going to move on from them. That's an S plus tier. That's legit a really nice entrance theme. It builds up a lot of hype and I like it. All right, we're gonna skip to where this one picks up. It's a shame these lyrics occupy such mediocre boss fights because they're so good. S plus, bro. Um, I'm just gonna put it in A. I don't really care too much about it. I like the little laughter in the background there. Uh, and I like that it's rip. Uh, I guess it's, uh, B. The Bomb Rush Blux Blush Remix. This sounds like a weirdly distorted Bomb Rush Blush, which is exactly what it should sound like. It's actually perfect. Uh, S+. Plus. Or no, actually S. Not that good. It's not that good. But I'll put it in S. The drop. You know what? Good point. I'll put it S+. Plus. All right, all right. Usually, I'm not a big fan of this song. The way they said QAnon, QAnon. Look at that fucking triumphant background beat. And then they compete with each other. It's cool. It's another S plus one. It's such a shame, dude. The final Octavio boss is so cool, and it has so many callbacks in terms of music, but the boss fight itself sucks ass. It's a, such a shame, dude. 
I think the remix Calamari Incantation is okay. I honestly like the original better. I think this one kind of toned back. I think this is an S. Still good, but... It is nowhere compared to the original. Spicy, more like mild. Alright, credits theme. We'll speed ahead a little. Like I said before with the Splatoon 1 credits, where that one felt like a nice ending journey, and it felt really nostalgic, this one just kind of feels mid to me, and I don't really care about it as much. Doesn't really carry the same weight to it. I forgot this was a thing! Do you guys remember this? This was the Grizzco ad. Like when they originally revealed Grizzco. I think that's the only time it played. Very cool. Yeah, I like it. Uh, so it's just the original version of it. I don't think it's that different. And it has the stuff in the background. Uh... I think this is kind of the same, but like a little worse. So I guess we'll put it in A. Oh, it's time, guys. Are you ready? What a way to open your single player with just a little weird remix of your best song. We're already starting off strong here. Nasty Majesty. The trailer song. The hype. The nostalgia. It's all here. Put it up there! <laughs> we all know where this goes. We all know where this goes. A Captain Cuttlefish remix theme. That sounds almost identical. Uh, yeah, it's good like the original one was. Nothing real special. It's just as good as the previous one. Alright, you guys know I like this song. This is my outro. <laughs> this is my outro song. So, I mean, if you guys watch my channel, you know how the rest of this song goes. We don't even need to listen to it. You should know. Put it in that S plus tier. Perfect background. Video's over time to go. It's kind of a hub, hub vibe. Put it in A tier. It's solid. Telephone! Uh, it fits the character, but I don't really like it, so I'm putting it in A. Dun. 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 Tom Ryan Contation is the recovery? That's awesome. So this picks up. See, so yeah, it's a song that progresses more on. It's super chill. It's super awesome. It is S tier. Got a lot of dead fish songs. This is one that's really good with headphones, by the way. Another one that goes left and right. Very chill, doesn't pick up a lot, but it doesn't need to. It sounds great, S tier. Just a straight progression, literally. The song is called Progress, after all. Baller flashbacks, yup. A lot of the baller levels. Very nice, very cool. S tier. Down. Up. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, this one's fine. I think this one's not as strong as the others. Probably an A. The puzzle! This is a puzzle song. You know the song is good when you can hear it and remember the stages it plays in, in your mind. Such a chill song. It's even called Dino, because you guys don't know what you're doing when you play the song the first time. I love it. S plus. We got another good one. Very laid back. 
Very cool beats. Doesn't change too much, but it's very cool. Very nice. Could put that in A. Party! Dun, dun, dun. This one's good. Dun, 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 dun. This one's so chill. Very, very chill. Very, very good song. S plus. And it even picks up and changes a bit more than the most of them do. It's awesome. Very nice. Shark bites. Yeah, you knew when you hear this song that stuff was getting real, dude. Here we go. I think it's an S plus. Not an X tier, but it's great. It's so close to X. This is a song that shows off Ox the Hook synergy very well together, by the way. Very well together. You guys know what level this is. You guys all know what levels this is. Can we get some eights in the chat for 8-Ball? Can we get some eights in the chat? It's so chill. I love this little background beat. I know you guys have flashbacks, but... Yup, that's where it belongs. That is where it belongs. Cars! Boom. This is the car wash level. S. I'm not a big fan of the lyrical parts, I gotta be honest, but I think everything else is very close to X tier material, so I'm putting it in S. Shade. Eh. The lyrics sound a little dumb. Uh, I'm neutral. I'm gonna put it in A. I'm not a big fan of this one. Now this one, now this one, now we're getting a little bit higher. Now we got a banger. And it just keeps going. It just keeps going. Put it up there, where it truly belongs. Outside of normal time signature. Yeah, it's outside of normal time signatures, and it still sounds good. Okay, this one doesn't really change that much. Very mellow, very chill beat. S tier, very cool. Just not a lot to say about it. There's not a lot of change. Oh! Yeah, this is the grind rails level. Yeah, above, more like above the rest of the tier list in X, where it truly belongs. Let's go, dude. This song's so good. This is the best lo-fi song. This is the, like, chill beats that's also top tier. This is the best victory theme, by the way. I was trying to have that sound on beat and I couldn't. This is the best victory theme. It is going in the S plus tier. I am not accepting any arguments. It feels amazing every single time. The Thangs. Now this song, there's a perfect mix of sounding good while still sounding a little bit off and unsettling. Like there's just the tiniest feeling that something isn't right while still being celebratory. What a perfect mix. 
What a perfect mix. Now that one sounds nice, but it doesn't have the same unsettling feel. And so I'm gonna put it in S. Still good, but not as good. Yay! We did it! Hey, what the? Hey, is that a... Uh... Hold up. Uh... Wait a second. Uh... 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 Ooh. What a perfect transition. From congrats to oh sh that's an X tier. Why do they scrap the old design with the body parts and the eyes? Probably because they wanted the game to not have like a f***ing higher rating. Like they probably had to do that. Splat attack! Let's go! The better splat attack. This is what made splat attack nostalgic. Not the original mix, this one. This pushed splat attack into the limelight. Do I even need to- you all know where this goes. Y you all know where this goes. Or, or, we all know where this goes. There's no contest. This is just a better splat attack in every way. It's so perfect. It just, it's so good. Octo Expansion is amazing. God, I could listen to the whole thing if I don't stop now, so we gotta move on. <laughs> Another song that's really good with headphones, by the way. Another one where left and right ear you can hear. What a chill vibe. You finally made it. Peace. What a nice speed for each in the surface. Very cool S tier. I wish it went on a bit longer, it got interrupted, but I guess I see why they did it. I just wish it was more of a moment and lasted longer. Still a good song. YouTube, you- Very unsettling, very cool. Actually, it's Commander's Hard to Steam. It's a throwback to an earlier song, S tier. Look at the drums, dude! Yup, you're right! I didn't even have to say it, Chad already knew! It does, it has motifs from everything. Literally a sum up of everything that has happened. As you go over details from the lore, things you've learned earlier about Pearl and Marina being put into a plan. Not in an X tier, but very close. Very underrated song. We're taking the special Splatfest music and making it even more special. And extending it. Another S+. Plus. Here we go! The final battle. Put it up there. This is the best idol song. I will not accept the baits. Honestly, I think it's better than the OG Calamari. I really do think it is. Now this is a better one minute remaining music than now or never will ever be. I mean, you guys already know. Let's just, let's just get this. L let's put it in its place while we listen to it. We're listening to the whole thing. Turn it up. This beat goes hard. It goes so hard. X. This 
Then a nice little celebratory song. It's still very nice. I don't really care as much. S tier, cool. Now, remember how I said the Splatoon 1 credits made me nostalgic for the game like a completed journey? Yeah, these are the ones that do it for two. This makes me feel nostalgic for the journey of Splatoon 2. This might be the best Splatoon song of all time, honestly, my bias aside. This might be the very best. I don't know how anyone can top this. I mean, listen to it. It's so creative. What could possibly beat it? Now, ignore the cat in the background. Obviously, we need the creation of the X plus tier. Th this song is just, it transcends everything else in the soundtrack. It, it, it just, it, it's not a fair comparison. Honestly, it should be belong on a different tier list. The best piece of art ever created. Anyway, uh, it go uh anyway, um, uh, Um, I'll, I'll give props for the fact that Pearl canonically swears. Like, that's cool that there's a Nintendo character that canonically swears. The song is ass. It's supposed to be ass. It belongs in the F tier. I'm sorry. I will say it's very cool that Pearl is, at least as far as I know, the only Nintendo character to canonically swear. Pearl legally said fuck, and that can never be taken away. So, uh, cool. But the song is, uh, kind of, the whole point is that the song is not good. Anyway! Very cute little demo. DLC songs time. Gotta turn this up a bit. Yeah. Now we're picking up the pace. The 3.0 trailer. We finally got a good multiplayer song! Let's go! I don't know why it's labeled as Octo Expansion, but it's it's up here. Get it up there. Oh, it's labeled like that because the background of this playlist is an Octo Expansion still. I see. Look at them pick it up! These are starting to give Splatoon 1 a run for its money. Starting to compete with Splat 1 a little bit. For the purposes of time, we're gonna skip the concerts. Cause they're not that different, so there's not a lot to say about them. Chop screwy! It's good, not as- not amazing. It's fine. Uh, I think it's a S tier song. Pretty good, but doesn't really give me the same vibes. Anime time! Get the anime opening. Can we just be honest with ourselves real quick? This song is so cool! It's so good! It's so underrated. I don't know how, but it is. I love this beat. I wish it picked up more, but I still really love it. That is an S tier song. Very cool. Seasick. I, th 
think this is better than the previous metal song, but I still do not care for it too much. A tier. All right, now we got a weird sounding salmon run. We got a 7-4 right here, I'm pretty sure. I love the guitar. Yeah, I'd imagine this is a nightmare to play. S tier, pretty good. Uh, personally, not a huge fan, but I'll put it in S tier for the chat. What a cool Christmas theme, dude! It's awesome! Easily an S tier. Now, remember. This is right after the whole blender sh This is the first time this game's ever had a stealth mission, and the players freak the f out. So tell me, this does not perfectly fit the vibes. That being said, it's still not much of a song outside of context. So I'll put it in S. Spotted version good too, but a little short. Very nice. Cool. Cool. I gotta be honest, I'm very apathetic to these. I don't really care that much. Final Fest announcement. This is the last one for Splatoon 2. They built this up. Chaos. Versus order. Uh, I think it's a very, uh, good attempt. Mediocre song. Eighth tier. Turning this one up immediately. Dun 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 dun. This was the most hype song, dude. Put it up there. And y'all better think that Octo Expansion mix, because that's the reason this exists. A return to the superior style of multiplayer music here. Put it up there. Put it up there. Put it up there. Where it belongs. It's so good. Hmm. Yeah, this is this Splatoon fan with the ox moment? It can go an S. All right, time for the one that divides everyone. Here we go. I'll just let you guys debate. Go ahead, get your debates out there. I won't say anything yet. So I'm not a fan of the salmonid vocals, but I will say this part though. I both love and hate this song. At first, I really liked it, like, really liked it, because I felt like it was a way more upbeat and just generally, like, it felt way more intense than most of the Salmon music. It felt way more like you were being swarmed. But at the same time, a lot of stuff, like the salmon lyrics of all things, did not stick. I'm gonna give it an A for effort, and I think this could lead to the best Salmon Run music, but I think this one was not it. Then again, they might change it before launch, I think if they trimmed out a bit of the salmon mid noises, I think it could be higher. But I will give it an A for effort. There is a banger song hidden beneath a few cringe moments. I'll put it in S. Hello, so Char from the Future is here, and now we have a release date trailer with three more songs, and I want to do the Smash Bros. Now or Never, so we have a little bit more to rank real quick. The intro loading in screen thingy. All right. 
heard this so much over the last few days, but man, the rock is just... Like, the rock theme of it is so nice. So obviously I wanted the icons because this tier list was made beforehand, but we're gonna add it at the end like with all the other things. It will be an S tier for the intro. And the victory theme. It is way more intense than this. It fits so well with the new UI, obviously. And it's not the full thing, but... I mean, come on, that's good. That will be another S tier. The Now or Never in Smash Brothers Ultimate. Um, so yeah, uh. So I had never heard this until last week, because someone brought it up, and uh, I wish I didn't listen to it, but you know, if I have to hear it, now you guys do too. Uh, this doesn't even feel like a Splatoon song. A and it's, and it's just so bad, I'm sorry. I, I, I cannot stand it. That, that's gonna go in F tier, and honestly, it's probably worse than the two songs already in that tier. Ah, oh, Jesus. So to wrap it up, we have Now or Never for Splatoon 3, the final song, at least for now. And well, it, it, it it's pretty good. <laughs> I love this song, man. It's so... man, I just miss the rock theme. It's not exactly the same as Splatoon 1, but honestly, I think it's better. I have never wanted Now or Never to play during ranked battles for, like, overtime or something, but now for the very first time, I actually do. Like, I would not mind hearing this compared to the other Now or Nevers where I more or less either don't care or don't like it. This is just... Oh, it's so much better. I think it's fair to wrap it up on a high note and put the best now or never in X tier. Uh, I tried to put a watermark thing, but tier maker wouldn't work. Here you go. This is the completed tier list. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was long as hell. Bye. <laughs>